Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today I'm going to go over some newness with you. I have this little window where I'm not on a photo shoot or working on a client, so I thought I would get into some of the newness that's been piling up on my desk. Let's get into it. So let's start with the obvious. One brows on, one brows off. What is going on, Shri? I just got done filming a TikTok showing the Glossier Boy Brow product. So of course I wanted to show you guys today here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and add the product here on this side. So many people love this product and I get it. It's a very natural looking product and I like a little bit more oomph, but if I'm in a hurry, it's nice to have something that just kind of quickly adds a little color and shapes the brow a bit. Now I use the Tarte Brow Sketch and Set and I've used it for years and a lot of you have purchased it and told me how much you love it, but some people have a little bit of a hard time with it because it's so pigmented. Well, I tried another product recently and it's the NYX Brow Glue product and it's like five bucks and I really have been loving that because it really holds the brow in place, but the color is too light. The tart can get a little too dark. So this to me is that Goldilocks brow where it's just right. Now I always take off the tip of the product because if you don't, at least for myself, and I go to put my brow on, a big goopy chunk lands right here and then I have to thin it out. So I recommend either taking it off on the back of your hands or taking it off in the tube and you won't have to deal with the cleanup. I always work backwards to stain the brow, which creates the illusion of more hair, gives more volume. So for a quick natural brow, this is great, but I like a little more attention to detail, so I'm gonna go in with my Patrick Ta pencil lighter hand at the front and then you can go in with a little more pressure as you work through the middle and then you're going to lighten your hand again as you go through the tail that's if you want a natural look i have nothing on my face right now as far as my complexion i have brows mascara eyeliner and some lipstick on but today we're going to try some face products i am loving this it's fantastic for prepping so put this on first then your foundation and then spray a little on top it gives you a really juicy looking skin vegan collagen visibly firms peptides lift and plump the look of skin and hyaluronic acid hydrates on the back of the bottle also says that it has probiotics and artemisia flower extract and that it has plumping peptides so what i like to do is i spray some on And the scent, just so you guys know, is very light. Now, once I place this on, then I go in with my foundation. But today, we are going to try together for the first time, because I've only tried this on in the store in the back of my hand, is the Kosas Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen with SPF 40. Now, during the Rouge sale, I tried to get a couple and they were sold out. So I went to Credo and there was a couple left. This has been really hard to get my hands on. It's sold out everywhere. It's in this plastic squeezy bottle, which I love. You could throw it in your bag. And I just like the packaging on here in general. It's just so happy. It's fresh, kind of spring, summer. Now, before I put this on my skin, the spray on serum is one of the best textures I have used, meaning it goes right into the skin. It's not sticky whatsoever. It leaves like a light hydrating feel, but it doesn't feel like it's sitting like a mask on the face. Back to the Dream Beam sunscreen. Now, a couple points that I see online is it states it's a radiant finish, hypoallergenic, clean and planet positive. It is wreath safe, hydrating. It is a clean, silicone free, comfy mineral sunscreen packed with ceramides, peptides, and moisturizers for a visibly smooth and brightening complexion. Now, for those of you that are medium to deep skin tones wondering, is that gonna look good on my skin? Watch what happens. It just becomes invisible. So yes, the color is good for all skin tones, but look at the sheen you have on here. It is lightweight. It smells so incredibly subtle. Adding a bit to my finger, we're gonna blend it into the skin. I 
oh, just so, so pretty. You know what it reminds me of in its consistency and kind of finish is the Chanel Balm Sticks, but not as thick. Do you see what I mean? Beautiful sheen to the skin. It's just such a great product and a price point. It reminds me of a luxury texture, a luxury finish. I'm very impressed with this product. To round out the plump and juicy collection, I also got the Lip Collagen Booster. Haven't even felt this, hadn't tried it on in the store. I just saw it. I thought, okay, I like these two products. So let's just go ahead and be completely influenced by marketing and packaging and get the last product. <laughs> So let's try it on together. It states it's skincare powered, peptides, hyaluronic acid, concentrated fatty acids, jojoba oil, pomegranate flower extract, and that lips appear hydrated, smooth, soft, and full. All right, I'm all for that. Let's see what we think. I love how pretty and pink that applicator is. And yes, pretty and pink is one of my favorite films. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get it out of the tube though. Oh, there it goes, okay. Ooh, this isn't coming out really easily. Maybe it's because it's very rich. Ooh, soft pink. The texture feels really emollient. Nice and buttery. All right, I'm gonna pull a little bit more out here and go just right on top of my lipstick. And I only have a lip liner on today actually. So this is how I would wear it. Anyways, I love to do a lip product with a lip liner. It smells so good. It smells like candy, but not that artificial, icky candy smell that they put in lipsticks and glosses sometimes. Everything in the brand smells very light. It's not overly fragranced, and I really appreciate that. Nice glossy buttery texture feels really hydrating the smell is just so lovely <laughs> and it feels great and lastly the tower 28 mascara this is make waves it states on here make waves is for sensitive eyes a smooth sailing formula designed to keep cool while you rock the boat lightweight conditioning formula with easy wash up technology keeps irritation and breakage at bay let me tell you guys why i like it so much and it is my go-to it kicked out dior for me i still love my dior but let me explain why i love this so much and the price point is really decent on here i think it's like 20 dollars. and i'm gonna tell you the negatives too all right so the positives are i have very thin sparse tiny little light colored lashes so once i'm done curling i need something that will hold my curl in shape and will also lengthen my lashes and be extra black. So if a product has too much pigment in it, too many like conditioning agents, it'll start to weigh my lashes down because they're just so thin. Anything on them just, they just drop. So I need something that curls and tightens up into a gel form and the little grooves, which this one does to help get all the baby lashes and to separate them. Now, Let's get into the minus about this product. Ugh. It is gunky. And I don't know if gunky is a word, but it's a word that I've been using for years, which means it just is kind of messy. And I can't close the tube all the way anymore. It just doesn't have the best packaging. Really cute design, but not great as you continue to use the product. It starts getting messier and messier. And I will say it does get at the very end, which I'm there now, a little bit goopy on the tip but the grooves on this are so yummy little and small to get those little baby lashes you can really get close to the lash line and get some nice volume at the base and separation so it's just one of those products that i like it so much that i'm willing to deal with the goopy gunky part of it i'll show you what a clean tube or wand looks like all right so here's what it's supposed to look like nice and clean and I love these colors, you guys. These just make me so happy. I mean, you know, I'm a child of the 80s. I'm sure that has something to do with it. All right. There's a nice clean wand. Now, another thing I love about this mascara is you can go in with several coats and it doesn't affect the mascara. It doesn't get clumpy. In fact, let me show you right now. 
just builds up really nicely, gets extra black. And here we have it. Absolutely love this mascara. Now this last product is one that I am so excited to have, not just for myself, but for my kit. I know it's going to be a go-to for me. It's gonna be a staple and that is the Makeup Forever HD Skin. I played with this in Sephora and I was so happy. I thought someone, someone gets it, especially us makeup artists. This is a dream and Makeup Forever is such a great makeup artist brand, so I'm not surprised. In fact, I talk about their lip pencils a lot because they were made for the Parisian Aquatic Ballet, their wax lip liners, and they do not move. You can wear them in the shower. You have to break them down with like an oil base to make them actually get off your lips. And it's great for my clients who have uh, deeper set lines and wrinkles around the edge of their mouth to help keep their lips to gone. All right, here we have it. How cool is this? Great design. This will be a palette that I can use on everybody. This is eyeshadow, this is highlighter, this is foundation, this is contour, this is bronzer. Let's go ahead and play with these. I'm gonna first swatch them on my arm for you guys and then we will create a look. creamy and look at how beautiful the color arrangement is on here. Now I know some of you are thinking, yeah, but what if I'm only in this color range or this color range? What would I do with these other colors? I'm going to show you guys. So this states that it's for contour, highlight, conceal, and for the ever popular underpainting that we're seeing everywhere, which is where you first put down your contour and your highlight, and then your foundation goes on top. So it kind of creates a more natural look. I'm going to keep this really simple. We can go into a deeper dive when it comes to this palette. Just let me know in the comments down below if that's what you'd like to see. I'm going to use my 217 MAC brush. And I'm going to pick the color that's closest to my skin tone, which is going to be up through here. So I'm going to mix a little bit of these two together. Looks pretty good, a little on the fair side. I'll probably add a little bit more warmth. Now that I did a nice little swatch, I'm gonna go down the center of the face. Less is more, I put a little too much on my brush and so I'm using my finger to warm up the pigments. And if you do this little wiggle motion with your finger here, it helps to press it into the skin, it helps to buff it in. All right, a little around the nose. Consult the redness around the outer eye area. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with the steps that we did here and here, and then I'm gonna go in and we're gonna start highlighting and contouring. All right, let's get into warming up the complexion now. So, we're gonna go up through here. These are your flesh tones. These are obviously gonna be a little bit more towards your contour bronzer tone, especially this one. My goodness, there's a lot of gray in there. So let's go in first and we'll contour a bit and then we will go in and add some warmth. So most of you know, follow the hollow. Anywhere things hollow, they dive in, there's a dip. You can start by sucking in or just opening your mouth and seeing where that line goes. Most people have an L shape, which is from here to here. It's a great way to do male models because this part of the jaw will look more prominent if you shadow through here. 
Let's go ahead and do it on me today because it looks really pretty on female bone structure as well. So I'm using just a very little bit, going back and forth, using a small domed brush, picking up very little product. We don't want much. The idea here is to just softly create the illusion of chiseled features. Hopefully you can see this is brighter. This is brighter and this is deeper through here. This should give you that chiseled lifted look. Take a little bit more and go up around the brow area. So it's going from one transition to the next transition to the next transition to the next transition. I purposely did that shape to show you guys what's called an S shape. And it's one of the first things I learned when I went to art school and anatomy class is everything in the body has an S shape. And I find as an artist, it works so beautifully when creating a makeup look because everything just transitions from one plane to the next plane. You're just working with the form and the bone structure and that's how you get a wonderful play of light and shadow. Before we get into highlighting, we need to warm up the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this color down here. Let's go ahead and mix it with a little bit of color up here as well. What I'm going to do is just lightly Put a little bit on the outer cheek. It can bend a little towards the front, but I really want to keep it just nice and warm on the upper part of what we just placed down. So you have your contour, your bronzer, your blush, your highlight in that order. And you should all just kind of seamlessly transition right into one another. A little around the lip and on the chin. You can always go in and intensify on that brow ridge to create a little more depth. So you have your light, your dark, your light once again. That's how you know you're doing it right. There should be a pattern when it comes to highlighting and contouring. And just because I have a darker color here, everything that's next to it should be lighter even if you don't add highlighter. There's already contour and bronzer that I put here. These areas will automatically become lighter just because of the depth or the warmth that is sitting in this area now. Now we can highlight. Looking at this palette, I'm definitely gonna have to do another video for you guys. I'll do underpainting if you guys would like, but I'm also realizing these will be beautiful for summertime. These are really pretty gold bronze colors, and I would put these on all over first and then my foundation on top to create a suntan look that kind of lightly comes through the foundation. But today, let's go ahead and go in with these highlighters. Ooh, both so pretty. Let's mix them together. I love to mix. Just like painting, you mix your colors to create a unique picture. I want to do the same with our makeup. Go a little bit on top of the nose here. Look at how subtle the shimmer is. I don't like that disco ball look on the nose. All right, let's take our pinky here. Just grab the light one. Inner corner of the eye. Come take the warmer one put it on the brow bone. We don't want to be 1990s frosty brow. What a lovely palette. I already know I'll be getting a couple more for my kits. This was definitely a successful purchase. I loved every single piece I got. And you guys know this part, but here it goes anyways, for those of you that are new. If you guys like what you're seeing here on Tree Voyage and you want to support the content, whether it's entertaining to you or educational, it's so easy to support. Go ahead and use the affiliate links of everything I use today. I have a list of different stores that you can shop for anything at any point. Every time you shop with my links, I get a small commission. It helps me continue to do this channel.
And if you guys haven't had enough, you can head to TikTok or to Instagram where I do mini tutorials and show you sneak peeks of up and coming newness. You can also head to shrewvoyage.com to book a one-on-one -on -one artistry service with me. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and say hello to me in the comments. Love getting your guys' feedback or just a good hello. All right, everyone, as always, continue to take care of yourselves, continue to take care of each other, continue to be kind to one another, and know that I'm sending you guys all great big hugs wherever you're at, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, everybody.